Huang Xu? Qian Sui. Good, I was way off. Anyway, they added this new character in the update. And it's basically a ninja turtle that slaughters everything. So let's start a reincarnation run because I'm not a fucking noob. Ahem. <laughs> well, I'm probably gonna die, but then I can just cut in another run and you'll never know. Ah, copycat. I mean, this game is Chinese after all. Uh, it was just a joke. Well, so how does this character actually play? First, we've got a falcon punch. And the faster we go, the more punch it punches. Like, there's a skill at the bottom, and that goes up the faster we go. So, we gotta go fast. So, I found one of the probably best weapons for this char. Like, it's a fucking sword. Oh, this is like a 14, and the gecko was like a 12. Go on, fight up frequency. So, this puts me on speed whenever I'm in wave mode. I like these new icons they've added. Speed! Ah! <laughs> oh god, I like this too much. Oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. Nope. Nope. Hey, how can this pack two punches? Oh my god, so much speed! Look at this, I'm already at 25. And there's already the Phantom Peddler, nice. Let's kill those little suckers. Um, I have too much speed anyway. Like, this makes my punch so much better. Um, this run is gonna be great. Bam, bam, bam. And already done. Okay, this is pretty much useless considering my magazine size is one and I can't dash. Wait a second, this gives me 50 chance to recover one use of striking punch. And this gives me 50% chance to not use any striking punch. Maybe it's just me, but that sounds a little strong. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna punch everything to death. Yeah, I don't- I'm really not consuming any punches. Oh, another phantom peddler? Well, I mean, more dashes, more waves. Dude, we're gonna be so fucking fast. Like, seriously, why is the gift box cheaper than the rare scroll? Oh, that was a horny beetle. Oh my god, so, um, I must say we do pick quite a punch, but I can't take quite a punch. Oh, it's a horned beetle. I don't know why it's thought of horny beetle, um... So if I punch now, I get more duration to my superpower and otherwise I reduce its cooldown. So a chance to reset my cooldowns, which means more punching. Well, next mini boss that's gonna die. Yeah, look how my punch time is now infinite basically. And I never end up consuming any punches, which is also ridiculously overpowered. And yeah, did I mention this is overpowered? Oh god, I love this character. <laughs> More damage! I think that scroll is new, but it means more damage when I take damage, then I can punch even harder. Well, this sword seems to be a lot faster, but I don't really need my swords if I can fight with my bare hands. For every 8 stacks of the speed thing, I get double punch up to 4 times with damage boost. I'm so gonna punch the crap out of this guy. We're gonna be so much faster! Look, I'm easily at 30 speeds! <laughs> Look how often I punch! Oh my god! Look at it! It's ridiculous! <laughs> wow. I think I'm never gonna underestimate melee fighters in a shooter game. Uh, weapon damage. It's kind of stupid. I don't deal weapon damage. I don't want to die as quickly as my enemies. First sensation, which is the speed thing, gives me now equivalent damage boost to my weapon. Which should basically like double my damage. Like, you can just use the shield and pass all the rocks. This is ridiculously overpowered. Man, I gambled a thousand coins on the scroll. Anyway, more skill damage. Well, the good thing is I don't need to waste money on weapon upgrades anymore. Well, speaking of money, now I get 50% more copper. Wow, this run is going very well. Almost too well. Actually, I can just bright punch through the stones, which makes total sense. Um, like, I can keep punching the immortal enemies, and I keep being in this state forever. Wow. Oh my god. Um, I kind of need to work on my defense. Oh, the faster we move, the less damage we take. That's good. Really good. Less damage. I like it. All right. Time to punch this bad boy to death. Uh... Yep, that, that works really well. I really hope Dormant Bullet works with my fire tower. More damage while my shield is recharging. I guess now I have a reason to get hurt. Problem with my shield is that it only blocks attacks from the front. So these are kind of terrible inscriptions, but hey, it deals more damage. Honestly, I don't like these inscriptions. Let's just reroll them. 50% weapon damage when attacking boss or elite monsters. Nice. I'm probably cutting out a lot of combat, but that's just because it's so goddamn easy. <laughs> Let's see how fast this boss melts. And there we go. 
Yep, yep. That, that's, that's... Why did I even bother upgrading that one? That's so much better. I have an evil banishing talisman, so definitely take that sword. It might increase the damage of my actual swords. Alright, please not the bird. Yes, it's not the bird. I think there's a new Gemini. Not like I need Gemini inscriptions to melt this worm. Okay, we just lost something to make me inv invincible at this point. Um, and this is already ridiculously amazing. Okay, then I think my shield blocked all the damage. I mean, at least I hope so. Okay, I think I take App and Flow, and then I take the Deadly Curse. Um, this seems like such a stupid idea, honestly. That might be pretty good, like, for defense skills. Um, I'm probably gonna die a lot. Maybe these Lantern Spirits can already one-hit me. I don't wanna find out. Well, more movement speed. That's that's not bad, I guess. Well, another mini boss. Time to figure out if I can actually survive with a deadly curse. Like it has deadly in the name. That's like a pretty obvious hint that um. Uh, <laughs> it also boosts my damage by uh, quite a bit. Well, a fight for immortality. It sounds like the scroll I just needed. Wait, since I never have to reload this weapon, my improved clip is always active. Oh my god, I'm already at 30 speed. That's 15 meters a second, which is 54 kilometers an hour. Or 33 miles per hour for you Americans who don't want to use a metric system like any other sane person on the world. Oh, finally, solid shell. Less damage taken for every enemy that's up close to me. Look at all the buffs I have. <laughs> I wonder how many you can have before the game just gives up. I like how I don't end up taking damage, although I'm playing super aggressively. God, I'm so fast. I don't want to do a jump and run. Like, I'm probably just gonna jump over the platforms because I'm so fast. Oh, no, no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Ah, ah. <laughs> well, more speed sounds nice. Look, we're already up to 48. I saw 48. Oh, yeah, okay. Now it gets annoying. Long shot, probably the worst scroll. Although it would have helped with that little kappa. And yes, they actually are called kappa. <laughs> okay, I'm so weak if I'm not in my super saiyan um, no stop punching mode. A legendary scroll, I didn't know you can just buy them. And it's stone skin, it only means less damage taken when I actually take damage, so can be nice. Uh, wh wh where's the boss? Oh, I didn't kill those guys. Yeah, I was just too fast for them. Yep, yep, the, the punches are still working perfectly. Immunity to slows means just even more speed, and I like that a lot. Paranormality! Oh my god! And lifesaver! 270 shield! And my gamble with deadly kills actually worked. Yeah, by the way, I still have no idea how this boss really works. I'm just usually so overpowered at this point, I just kill it instantly. Okay, oh my god. This is not good. Um, this is actually more of a fight than I expected it to be. Uh, I have no idea how this boss works. Somebody... So much shield! Oh my god. 638 shield. I know, I think you're supposed to shoot at that guy. Um, okay, really nice. He's down to just 300k. 100k? Okay, I almost got him. And there we go! Nice! This is actually gonna be my first time in this new stage. Which, by the way, kinda looks like Borderlands 2, but that's a game we'll not talk about here, cause, um, they definitely didn't take any inspiration from it. And apparently I didn't get a blessing this time, which kinda sucks. So now there's a monkey? There was a monkey. Well, there's a penguin! I just love the fact we're fighting against penguins now. I must say, I really like the art style of this game. I mean, I hope I don't get the new jump and run, because, um, because that could get really frustrating. You know, sorry for the punch. Alright, I'm gonna quit. Like, I don't even have time to look at the new enemies because they die too fast. I guess that's what you call a first world problem. Valrosses? What's the plural of that thing? I don't know. But if I kill them all, there is no plural. There, is there flying saucer? Why the hell are aliens here? It doesn't make any sense. I don't have any ranged attacks. That's the first enemy in the entire game that I cannot just kill with my fists. And that's really annoying, honestly. Not another saucer. This is wasting so much ammo. And there's only one choice. Uh, which is okay, I guess. I can't believe I never got the skill. This would have boosted my fist damage by like... 200%? I don't know. I mean, it's not like I'm underpowered or anything. Wait, what? That guy was riding a thing? 
The enemies are kind of funny, not gonna lie. I wonder if there's gonna be like a Christmas update or something. I think the UFO is just boosting all these enemies. Dude, this is so annoying. You please don't be a jump and run. Nice, it's just another mini boss. It should actually be a new mini boss as well. And I just walked right into the challenge event. Yes, I can actually punch him. Nice. Um, that's a permanent 50% damage boost. That's... That's the wall. I guess it's gonna be a giant walrus or something. Oh no, it's cavalry thing. Man, this is really fast and kind of hard to hit, but uh, doesn't matter. Maybe I should have played on a higher difficulty, because I definitely didn't die on my first run. Yep, well, that sounds like a sure way to die. Okay, that is amazing. Now I'm kind of invincible, like more than I already was. But we can actually go in here and there's nothing but darkness. Oh god, what is this? I have no idea. It's the final stage. Like, if we can't go back this bridge, how did we get over here? It doesn't make any sense. Final weapon upgrades and... I just hope I don't die. <laughs> Alright, time to finish this. Uh, what is this? Right, let's go to Jade Summit. It's a giant bear, wow. And he has a sword. Okay, I have no idea how this boss works, but I'm just gonna beat the crap out of him. Okay, now he's invincible, and now he keeps just, um, shooting at me. But I'm so fast, man! Like, dude, you're never gonna get me. It gets a little boring. How long do you wanna keep doing this? Like, this is a very spectacular last boss fight. I, I kinda expected a little bit more. Please don't go into invincibility again. Like, I would love to take some time and take at his moves, but I would also just love to beat the crap out of him. I never stop punching, it's so ridiculous. Concentrate all your fire on the pull, Monarch, or you will lose the battle. What is this? I don't... Oh no, I need to... Ah, we... there's a countdown, we need to hurry. <laughs> so, there's now like this DPS gate, so if you don't deal enough damage per second, you can't pass this boss. I almost wouldn't have noticed, but there we go, we, we beat the final boss, it was very unspectacular, I gotta admit. This game has kind of a problem when you get stupidly overpowered. You know, there's one thing missing to this bear, a half-naked Putin riding it. 